In today's video, we are doing a shopper track, which is a traffic counter in retail stores. This is mounted right inside the entry door. This has two little cameras on it, which the covers are on right now. This basically counts people coming in, people going out. These things are typically pretty easy, but there's a lot of variables. In this case, we've already got a pre-ran cable and we've got conduit and a four inch J box. This mounting plate is not built to fit onto a J box. It's just not wide enough. Screw holes don't line up. So if you're gonna do these, you may have to do a couple of things. Number one, you don't always have something that is already installed. So you may have to carry a piece of conduit and a J box with you and some C clamps so that you can mount it to the ceiling grid. Sometimes it's a drop ceiling. Drop ceilings are super easy because literally all you have to do is attach this to the drop ceiling, cut a little hole in it for your cable. But in this case, since we're using a J box, we're gonna use this little wall plate adapter. There are different sizes. You wanna make sure you get the one that's four inch that's designed for a four inch J box. And then our plate is built to attach to an actual wall plate. Nice thing is on these plates, there's actually an image that shows you the front door and shows you an arrow. So it'll tell you which direction needs to point towards the door. So we're gonna put the bevel facing up. And that should give us the clearance to get our clip in on the back end. Now I'm gonna go ahead and curl this in. I do always carry longer wall plate screws just in case you run into double drywall or something where the mounting bracket is embedded too deeply. But in this case, regular wall plate screws are working fine. Okay, it's a little tricky to get that to catch, but there's our completed mount. So we got the light towards the door, we've got our orientation, and we're ready to hook up in the back and test. Every shopper track is gonna ship with a kit. You're gonna have a power injector. If it's a pre-ran, you're gonna be looking for a cable. In this case, it is labeled, but you might have to tone and trace it if you don't see one that's labeled. So this time I've got one that's labeled, it is Shop T, so shopper track. This is really well done. It's actually marked port six and port six. Perfect. I'm going to disconnect this so that we can bring in our power injector. We've got a battery backup down below. There is no PDU. So we're going to try to go to this battery backup down here. And it really isn't critical that this be on battery backup. We're just going to put it on the surge side. Okay, we're going to give ourselves power. Sharper track typically ships out purple cables. That way it stands out. So we're going to go back to the same port in the switch, which is port six. So we've got out, the out should go to the shopper track. In should be coming from the switch. Okay, try to keep everything as tidy as possible. We're actually gonna end up Velcroing this. Now I've got a link light here and on the switch. Then we'll run out at the shopper track, make sure the light's on it, that it's syncing up. Now this kit includes a little floor map and they use this for testing. It's got sticky on the back, so it'll actually stick to the floor. This creates a line saying verify that the camera is actually counting people crossing that area. We should be done in the back. We're gonna go finalize up front. There's our complete install. We got a green blinking light and we're gonna call in for testing. Sam. Hey Sam, uh, this is Michael. I'm calling to do testing. Where do I need to position this uh, floor map? Uh, just directly under the orbit as a horizontal strip. That should be in place. Customers started coming into the store right after I put down the strip, so I had to stop recording. The tech support rep had me just walk in and out of the store 10 times doing 10 loops. He was able to log into the system and see my going in and out and making sure that the system was recording all of those. Now this call is from one of my direct clients. You might see these on Field Nation or Work Market every once in a while, but this particular client prefers to use their own network of technicians, their own website, their own app. And I made right at $200 for this job for about two hours worth of work. So if you've ever seen these calls offered, I hope that this video will help you to feel comfortable taking those tickets. And if you're interested in learning about my direct clients, click the link in the description below 
And of course, if you got value today, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And as always, let's get you out in the field making money. I'll see you in the next video.